Hello everyone and welcome to another video, my track guide for the VIR North layout in the Toyota GR86. Let's get into it. For qualifying you want to be all the way on the left, but turn 1 is a great overtaking opportunity in the race. I start to brake just before I get to the one sign here on the left, and I aim for about 90-95% to brake pressure, easing that off all the way to the inside curb. I'm all the way up on the green and yellow curb, and once I'm on that curb I'll go full throttle again. I like to stay in second, but you can use first here as well. And then you want to hold as tight as line and you can to the right side of the track. But don't sacrifice any speed for it. For turn 2, I don't go all the way into the curb. I do that to open up turn 3 a bit more, so the radius isn't that tight. I brake when I get to this repaved part just in front of us. I aim for about 35% brake pressure, quickly easing that off before the curb, and also on the throttle before the curb. And we do that because we have quite a lot of room on the outside we can use. And also cut the curb as much as you can, as it won't unsettle the car too much. Just make sure to get within the track before the curb ends. Turn 4 is all about the exit, and that's because we are flat out all the way down to turn 7. I brake when I get to the repave part of the track here, aiming for about 90% brake pressure, with quickly easing that off to just before the curb. You want to cut all of the curb for turn 4, and just before the curb you want to go full throttle again. And from now on, you want to be full throttle all the way down to turn 7. We can also cut a bit of the curb of turn 5. Don't cut too much because it will unsettle the car quite a lot. Now let the car flow out to the left before getting into the curb of turn 6. And now you should pretty much hit every curb down to turn 7. If you get a bad exit here, you're surely to be under attack in the race. But for qualifying, you want to be all the way on the left. I couldn't find a good break point for turn 7, so I try and use this brown mark here over on the right. Once I get to that, I'll be on the brake. Aiming for about 95% brake pressure, easing that off all the way to the start of the hill. Once we start to go up, I'll go full throttle again, aiming for an apex just around the middle of the hill. I don't like to hit the curb here, because it will unsettle the car quite a lot, as you can see. But there is a quite wide runoff here, just make sure that you don't touch all of the cones. If you do, you will lose time. Now we want to be on the curbs pretty much all the way up. Here we want to be smooth, to make sure we don't scrub off too much speed. And as I said, we pretty much hit every curb here, especially the green and yellow ones. It's all about sliding as little as possible, while keeping full throttle all the way up to the top. We don't have to hit the last curb here. For turn 14, you want to be as far left as you can as possible, just to help and up the turn a bit more. You want to put the car on the curb here on the left, just as it turns a little bit, which is also where you want to be braking. I aim for about 95% brake pressure, easing that off all the way to the inside curb. Once I get to the curb, I'll be going full throttle again, and we are also getting up on the curb. If you hit it too aggressively, it will unsettle the car quite a lot, so just take it a bit easy on it. There is a bit of room on the outside on the curb, you should use that if you need. After you take the inside curb, you want to track out again to get as wide an entry as possible to 16 and 17. I'm all the way up on the curb, once I'm on the curb, I'll be going off the throttle, and once I leave the curb, I'll be going on the brake. We need to get a good exit here, just because it's the longest straight on the track. And also the start finish line, so it could be important. Once I'm off the curb, I go to about 40% brake pressure, quickly and quickly off it again. Keep a little bit trade brake, just to help the car stay stable. And that's all the way to the inside curb of turn 17, where I also cut a lot of curb. Once I'm off the curb of turn 17, I'll go full throttle again. Be smooth with the inputs, so you don't overload the front tires. You want to get as close as you can to the inside curb just before the long straight and of course help the car accelerate as much as possible. Just be as smooth as you can and feel what the car wants to do. Now you want to take the shortest route possible all the way to the line. That's pretty much hugging the white line on the inside. And that's my lap around the AR North in the Toyota GR86 of a time of 135.7. I have more track guide for the GR86 linked down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and this one helped you. If it did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well. And now for the uninterrupted hot laps. 